What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over the top five moves that you can use and incorporate into your game to add in a real game. Let's get started. Alright Hoopers, well today's video like I said is all about moves that you can use and incorporate into a real game situation. Alright, so let's dive right into it and the first move we're going to use is the shake and bake. Alright, so I'm up here on this wing area. Now the best time to use this move is going to be in a transition situation, okay, because you're coming down full speed and now there could be a defender in this area here, you know, your transition might be a two on one situation, three on two, whatever and the defender slides over in your way, here's the move to go to. All right, so the shake and bake. As I drive towards the basket, I'm here. I go behind the back, right? So I'm behind, boom, hop back, and score, all right? So just to walk through step by step, I'm behind the back, but notice when I do that, I jump one way. So I'm here, boom, bring it back, and score. Okay, so you're going to bounce, back behind, and finish. So it's on the ground, wrap around, lay up, tack, boom, bang. All right, simple as that. Take your time with it, work on it, put it into your game, use it in transition to score more points. Here it is, the first of five, the shake and bake in full speed. When it might stop, Christ coming back soon, make the sky pop. Writing on the wall, and I put that on my life. Weight of the world on his back, homie, that is light. People while in overtext, I am not the type. First time he came back, it happened overnight. Hands folded, I'm praying to the sky. No one got to hear me. All right, moving on to move number two. We are going to do the side hop jumper or side bounce jumper, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to be out here on the wing area. All these drills you see today will be able to be used and practiced on either side of the court. So make sure you're doing that in order to, you know, really feel out going to your left, really feel out going to your right so you can be successful both directions, okay? So the side hop jumper, I'm here, I might even be in an isolation situation. I feel like I got the mismatch. Now what I'm going to do is when I'm ready to go into the move, I'm going to take one hard dribble and that same foot that's on the same side as the ball is going to go at the same time. So we're here boom push away right into my jumper so this move what it allows you to do is create space and separation from the defender in order to get your jumper off so if you do feel like you have the mismatch against the defender and you have that advantage you size them up boom what you got okay okay that's how you playing it boom push away right into my shot all right so again work on this both sides of the court execute it get that bounce down get enough separation that you need from your defender in order to hit that jumper. Here's move number two, side hop or side bounce jumper. God can hear me, I wait on his reply. Even on the day when I don't hear nothing, I know he's plotting something, and that's why. All right, Hoopers, well, this next move, if you like to score around a basket and need help avoiding the defenders, this next move, move number three, is perfect for you. This is the Pro Hop, all right? So I got my man Buddy down here. Buddy's down here, he's a defender. He's waiting for me at the basket. Now with the Pro Hop, when you attack your defender and you see him slide over, we're getting into this area, we're gonna hop, right? So we get here, we get close enough, so we take that hop to get away from the defender and avoid any type of charge. Now, when we do the pro hop, we wanna get here and protect the ball. So notice when I hop, I put that ball over here on this left side so the defender can't steal it from me. It's protected and all I have to do is go up and finish. All right, so this is what it will look like. I attack my defender, boom, 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 okay? Easy, great move, effective, allows you, like I said, to score around a basket and avoid a defender who's trying to come over and stop you. It's move number three, Pro Hop. Here it is in full speed. It is golden A, rocking the bell, serving you L's. You know we locked and loaded. This is my moment, I'm gonna own it, but I drive it like it's stolen. Running, running through these lights, yeah, I got to keep it rolling. I'm gonna put my life in your hands, so I know I'll always be free. Yeah, let these demons aim for my head, cause they know they live in my feet. And we know these dudes always gon' hit for what your son can do on the feet. They look at my flaws and pray for my fall, but I ain't losing no sleep. 
All right, Hoopers, we're moving on to move number four, one of my favorites from one of the greatest players. Probably, never mind, I'm not going to say that. The greatest player of all time, Michael Jordan. And we're going with his signature MJ fadeaway. Okay? So with this move, again, work on both sides of the court. I got the ball. I'm filling out my defender. Back him down one dribble. Maybe two. I'm turning away from him right into my fadeaway jumper. Okay? So I'm, if I'm going towards the middle on that bounce, one, two. Now when I spin back, that's the setup right there. Okay? So I set my defender up one. Ah. Come with that second one, now I'm turning away. Okay, so I'm going towards the baseline. Boom, fading away, right into my jumper. So it looks something like this. I'll throw the ball out to myself. Ah, okay, one, two, ah, boom. Just like that, all right? Great move if you got the versatility, if you got the confidence in your game in order to do that. Here's move number four, the MJ fadeaway in full speed. No sleep. Feeling this life with the hope that I feel like the whole squad with me and I want to make a million. My Air Force ones for the real because they took me kind of day once and the sauce is saying no stops on this grind, man. Y'all already know, but I ain't never in a rush, so I'm gonna cook this slow, eh? Hoopers, we're on our fifth and final move for today's video, and we're going to be working on the step through. Okay, so again, this one is using in transition. I got Buddy out here again as a defender. Now with the step through, if I'm driving towards the rim and I see this defender here, I want to avoid him by picking that ball up over the top, right? So if this defender, we're going to say, Buddy's like trying to run by us or whatever, or he's just trying to get his hand in there as we're driving by our defender. So as I'm driving towards the basket, and I see him, I wanna put that ball up over the top to step through and to finish. This will help you avoid a defender, again, like I said, who's trying to get their hand in there, maybe try to step in your way really quick, and all you gotta do is when you drive, boom, sweep that ball up over the top and finish at the rim. Giannis Antetokounmpo, one of the best at performing this move because of his length, his versatility, and his ability to get to the rim with quick amount of steps, all right? This is the fifth and final move. Hope you've enjoyed today's video, the last move, the step through at full speed. Keep it coming. I say nothing. No, we run it. Thank God we trust. I can my fifth my dad, so every word that I spit is golden. Hey, rocking the bell, serving you L's. You know we locked and loaded. This is my moaning. I'm gonna own it, but I drive it like it's stolen. Run and run. All right, Hoopers, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video as you just saw five moves that you can incorporate into your game to use in real games, all right? If you like today's video, click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think and what you want to see in the future. But most importantly, you should click that subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball every single week. We're releasing brand new videos to help you improve your game. All right, so now it's your turn to get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, put all the work in that you need to do in order to put these five moves that you've seen today into your game. But most importantly, click that subscribe button, join us, and remember always, keep hooping.